Ukraine. Hello and welcome to UAT Time within the United Countries Special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website, firstua.com. I'm Sergei Vilichansky. And I am Olivier Adrin. UAT Time is dedicated to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by introducing the real Ukraine to the rest of the world. As of today, we join a world campaign, Let My People Go. 25 Ukrainian citizens have been illegally detained and kept on the Russian territory at this time. 25 is the number of people that we know of. Could there be more? You can never be sure when dealing with Russian-backed terrorists. You can find more info under the hashtags Free Savchenka and Let My People Go. Today we want to discuss several events that took place recently, including Syria, Brussels terrorist attacks, the Brexit, Savchenko and the Ukrainian prisoner in Russia, Kerry's meeting in Moscow. All right, and let's start with the Brexit. Yep. Actually, uh, looks like it's uh, quite a fresh uh, information in the, new, in the news, but uh, on February 20th, David Cameron, uh, Britain's prime minister, set June 23rd as the date for the referendum on the country's membership of the European Union. Okay, and so it could be one of the most crucial events in the parliament but the most important in Europe uh, in years. It will determine the prime minister's future. For a start, it is hard to see him staying in office if he fails to win his campaign to remain in the EU. So, what, uh, what, what, why, why is that? Why, why, why do they need this referendum and what will it do to them? You know, I think this is at first a, a very bad political game from from Great Britain and from Cameron. Okay. Uh, first, uh, secondly, yes, this is very important for European Union, but not <coughs> so much important that some newspaper uh, is showing us now. Uh, you know, you have different uh, opinions in this uh, on this Brexit. Uh, some uh, Englishmen really want to leave the EU, but uh, other uh, Englishmen and large part are businessmen, they say that uh, that will be very bad economically and for business uh, for UK yeah. to uh, leave the European Union. And uh, you have also uh, another part of the, uh, I can say, the European, uh, European opinion, the Federalist Party or the uh, European activists uh, who want to have a political union and uh, want to go in some uh, EU federation. And really, <coughs> they say, OK, if UK want to leave the, the EU, uh, that will be their choice. Then you have different opinion. But in my, uh, in my way of thinking, you know, for me, this is really a political bad game from England and from uh, Cameron. Well, you're meaning uh, from England or the Great Britain? Like, oh, uh, excuse me, England, okay. Great Britain, UK, OK. OK, UK, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, now, are they trying to bargain with something? Well, you, know, they, 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 you know, UK is a uh, is very difficult partner in the EU, okay. first of all. Uh, they always try to have uh, some uh, special statues, and they, they negotiated for a special statues. Yes. And that was the the the, 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 the big uh, um, can you say the big political uh, negotiations for uh, Cameron, mm -hmm. and he did that with my, my president uh, also François Hollande. Yeah. Uh, and I can say that a large part of the EU and of the EU representatives are. I can say diplomatically uh, fed up about this uh, UK behavior. Yeah. And uh, we say, OK, that's enough. Uh, do your referendum, and we will see. Uh, but you know, this is not only the first referendum we have in UK about uh, European, Union, European Union construction, because UK uh, became a member in uh, 1973, OK? And in 1975, they did a referendum to stay in the European construction. Okay. Th that was the first referendum. Okay. And the result was uh, positive, of course. Because, uh, and 
I think the, one of the first motivation uh, is a political motivation, but me, you know, I believe in the world economy. And I think the economy uh, and the businessmen uh, will uh, do their best to, to <coughs> stay in the EU. To stay in the EU. Because it will really be very, very bad for, for UK if they uh, will leave the EU. But do we know of uh, any facts uh, of the uh, uh, influence, uh, external influence on the UK uh, policies? Like uh, um, I don't know. I you know we can we can know we know that there is some northern partner, supposedly mm. partner that is interested in uh, f uh, the EU to fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the uh, you you are talking about uh, Russia. Russia. Yeah, yes, thinking, of course. I'm thinking. In, you, you know, uh, I, I can say that you have uh, some uh, leaders, uh, world leader. Uh, who are in favor of, of the end of EU, but you have only the first one is, uh, is Putin. Is Putin, yes. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, he, 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 used, he used the, uh, the crisis, the Greece crisis, to uh, disturb uh, uh, EU, and now he's using, with his propaganda, the UK referendum also to uh, to destabilize uh, the EU. Yeah. And we have to be unified now, because in this world uh, we know that uh, UK or, or France or Germany alone, they cannot do something sure. efficient. Sure. Look at, in the Minsk agreement, uh, the EU is, is working a lot, and French and Germany, uh, they are together. Why? Because they are the leaders of the EU, yeah. and they represent a real a big diplomatic and economic force to improve, to improve the, 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 the Minsk agreement in the right way. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, one of the uh, destabilizi destabilizing uh, factors happened just recently, the terroristic attack in Brussels. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, you know, some time ago we had one in Paris, yeah. uh, and now the Brussels. So, uh, anything uh, about that? Anything new? Uh, no, you know, we, I say we are in war against terrorism, okay, and this is, uh, this is a huge terrorist attacks in Brussels. We will have other terrorist attacks. That's so you, you would su you suggest that we need to be prepared? Yeah, we need upcoming. to be prepared mentally, men mentally, yes, uh, to have other uh, terrorist attacks. We know that we... Our special services um, stop some process of new terrorist attacks, and I I, I talked about uh, European uh, special services, not only France but uh, Germany in Berlin, for example, mm -hmm. or uh, or uh, UK or other countries. They are they already stopped some uh, terrorist attack processes. Uh, we will have other ones. Uh, I am very, very, um, you know, shocked when I saw that uh, we didn't uh, bomb, uh, bomb three years ago Syria, mm -hmm. as we uh, wanted with uh, President François Hollande. Yeah. And you know <coughs> that uh, in, in those times, uh, Russia stopped the process of bombing Syria because say that uh, Bashar al-Assad is agree to uh, to have some inspection of his chemical weapons okay. and I f I am sure that if uh, three years ago we bombed Syria uh, the result of uh, the terrorist attack will be maybe less well yeah but it didn't happen so um... but it's also the result of, of, of Russia to disturb the open union well you know that's yeah, no, no, because you know uh, he is using this crisis in Syria to destabilize the EU with the migrants. Well, it seems like I hear you know that Russia is uh, you know is so successful in this and that and this and that, and I'm not uh, seeing no 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 no, no. He's not he, he's not no no this is not a you know Putin is not a strategist, Putin is using our weakness.
Putin but is using it, it, yes really it's this is not, Putin has no strategy he said okay he said I, oh, I can do something in Syria I will do something in Syria I can do something in the Baltic state I will do but this is not a global strategy is using our weakness well you know we never know uh, well okay uh, you probably you have some uh, reasoning to say that he is not a strategist but the way I see this first of all yes it takes um, experience and some uh, and, and knowledge and uh, and wisdom to be able to use the weaknesses as well mm -hmm. and he knows how to use them but how do we know that he is not manipulating to create the weaknesses okay uh, Syria okay Syria now Syria you know uh, Russia part of uh, of the Russian uh, military intervention is leaving Syria okay yes all right okay and uh, I, I gave some interviews about that and for me uh, this is not a, a Putin victory okay uh, we have an international coalition Putin is not alone in Syria French is in Syria USA is in Syria well he is not alone first secondly uh, this is not with only uh, 5,000 soldiers and some aircraft that you can win a war in Syria this is impossible yeah. and why now he is leaving Syria a part of his military intervention is leaving Syria because you know the economy in Russia he cannot uh, support uh, Russia cannot support uh, uh, a big military intervention in Syria. That's why Russia is not the Soviet Union and the Russian army is not the Soviet army. And they, are, they, are, they have no the power, the economical power to support a large Syrian, a large intervention in Syria. Yeah. Well, uh, as far as Ukraine goes, we can't be that happy about Russia leaving Syria because now we know that he's going to concentrate yes on uh, the, the I th on I think I think we have to be afraid about that because now uh, he cannot stop this his intervention in Donbas it's impossible because of inter internal policy you know the propaganda is so huge and the russian people will not understand tomorrow if Syria will leave Donbas, the Russian people say, why? Why? Yeah. And that will be for Putin a big uh, political problem. Well, you know, since we're talking about this now, I guess uh, I've, uh, I've got uh, <coughs> uh, BBC reported on the meeting of uh, Mr. Kerry and uh, Mr. Putin um, let's see, they had a four hours, uh, four hour talks with Mr. Putin and um, their negotiations also included Iran, Syria, Libya, Yemen. Uh, he said it was necessary to keep the lines of communication open between the US and Russia and that there was no substitute for direct talks between decision makers. Okay, he thanked President Putin for giving so much of his time to explain Russia's positions. The Russian Foreign Minister and U.S. Secretary of State laid rests at the World War II Memorial earlier on Tuesday. Mr. Lavrov said that at the joint press conferences that, he, that the talks had helped Moscow and Washington improve mutual understanding. Earlier he said that Russia was ready to cooperate with the U.S. but only on an equal basis and without coercion. A statement by Mr. Lavrov on the foreign ministry website said that the attempts to pressure Russia through sanctions would only lead to a dead end. Okay, uh, this is really, uh, you know, when, when, uh, when I, I hear you, uh, when I hear you, uh, when you, when you <laughs> read this text, I, I was thinking about the Cold War. Well, this is the same. Yes. This well, is the same. The right gestures, right phrases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. Russia denies arming the rebels or sending troops there. Although Foreign Minister uh, Sergei Lavrov agreed with Mr. Curry at the joint 
at a joint press conference on Tuesday night that the ceasefire in Ukraine is still being violated. More, uh, this is the same. This is the same style that we had during the Cold War and the Soviet Union. But I repeat, <laughs> uh, Russia is not the Soviet Union. And when when Russia say we want to talk on equal basis, yes, yeah, yeah. with 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 USA, come on. You represent 2.5 or 2.7 percent of the total uh, uh, world GDP, and you want to discuss with USA or <laughs> Europe? On an equal, you, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, they, they think because of the size, they they have that right. But, but that's we it. know. Okay, look at look at look at your transport, your road, your university, your hospital in Russia, and look at in Europe and USA. Why all the children of the nomenclature of Russia they are in Europe and in USA? Why? Because they know we're where it is better. Of course, okay. of course. And but, wha what Russia is now, Russia is, you know, uh, a, a country under the dictatorship and is more and more an uh, underdeveloped country with nuclear weapons only. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, now, uh, what, what can we expect from that meeting between mm, uh, I Mr. think Kerry a lot of rhetoric, but Putin. not a lot of results. Okay, so it's just. Well, it's oh, you like know, the this is round only one can say blah blah blah, and uh, I think first of first of all, this meeting is very good for Putin himself, okay, for internal uh, uh, internal policy. Okay. Why? Because uh, now he can show to his people, okay, we we're, are we're friends with. Yes, we okay. are like during the Soviet Union, a super powerful country. Because Russia is at the equal, but, equal but, but do you USA. think do you think nobody's gonna ask a question why uh, uh, you know a state secretary speaks with the president of Russia uh, on the equal basis? N nobody, is, no, no, is, nobody is talking about that. Okay. That's that's that, right. that, that, that's that's amazing. But uh, they don't take care because they, they they are putting so much rhetoric. Yeah. Then you, you cannot because see these details. Supposedly, he should have been meeting with Lavrov. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's the, that's the But level. come on, for USA, uh, Russia is not the first problem. Okay. Okay, that's why they, 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 they only sent Kerry and not Obama. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't think Obama Th that's, has That's amazing. That's, that's, that, that, that's true. That's the result. And um, for me, you know, Putin needs for his own internal policy to show to his people that Soviet Union can say a, a strong policy is coming back with him. And that's why he need to, to, to see uh, John Kerry or uh, some, sometime Obama. But you know that Obama is not very in favor uh, to see Putin. Mr. Kerry said it was critically important that the ceasefire deal agreed in Minsk in February be fully implemented in eastern Ukraine. He said U.S. and EU sanctions against Russia could only be scaled down if and when that happens. Come on. You know... Uh, I, I like to, to talk about uh, military aspect, economical aspect. Come on, USA, and uh, you know that USA plus uh, EU, we are uh, building now a transatlantic union, you know, market, okay? Mm -hmm. We will represent around 40, 45, 48, maybe 50% of the total world GDP. Yeah. Yes, then Russia is not our first problem. Yeah. All right. Uh, Facebook. We are on Facebook, so uh, feel free to find us and uh, 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 stay with us, stay in touch with us. Yes, facebook.com uh, UAT time. Find us and tell us what you think. Uh, if that's uh, the case, then just write to us. We would love to hear your opinion and your ideas. And, uh, and then facebook.com slash first UA channel. So make sure you are staying with us and make sure you are uh, letting us know uh, what to do and what topics to cover. Now, uh, we know that uh, Savchenka 
has been uh, ruled to serve 22 years in the Russian prison. Mm -hmm. And we know about, in total, 25 uh, Ukrainian citizens that have been illegally detained mm -hmm. and are being kept on the Russian territory or in Crimea. Uh, and that is all illegal. Uh, and now we, uh, I just heard the news that um, the health of uh, Nadia Savchenko is not good because, because of her uh, starvation that she has had for several, several times. Now her uh, organism mm -hmm. isn't uh, accepting food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now she's, uh, she has an involuntary starvation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Yes, then uh, this is a shame for, uh, for Russia. This is a, a shame for Russia, shame on Putin and on the, can I say, the, the justice, <laughs> if we can uh, say justice of this uh, mascarade of this uh, bad uh, game of, of Putin uh, with uh, Savchenko. But it seems like... Uh, 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 you know, some rumors uh, say that, uh, you know, have it that uh, uh, Kerry and Putin, they did touch on Savchenko's uh, subject, mm -hmm. but... Uh, we have some rumors about that, yes, we have some rumors, but uh, it is, this is only rumors. And, uh, but definitely, uh, uh, for Russia, Savchenko will be a big, big and huge problem. And I think Russia will be happy, maybe to let Savchen go, go. I don't know. For political reason, you know. This is very bad for the image of Russia. Very bad. And you know that Put Putin well, is taking care about his image. He's taking care like, about his image. You know, one, uh, once you cross over a lo the line, then, you know, one more problematic issue isn't going to hurt any more than the rest of the things. You know, so uh, in, in my mind, sometimes when, you know, when they've crossed the line uh, and now with Savchenka as well, uh, you know, MH17 back, you know, uh, uh, is on their conscience. Uh, Savchenka, yeah, okay. yes. If, if we then... talk in this, uh, I understand your, your, your logic. If you talk uh, in this process, uh, the Ill illegal in criminal annexion, occupation of Crimea, what's yeah. happening in Donbass, MH17. We are, we are facing an illegal state, um, can say, um, way of government, no? That means uh, everything who is doing now uh, Putin is uh, under international law a crime, a yeah. crime. And uh, this state, uh, this state, Russia, the Russian government has an illegal policy of criminal system. And we can say that we, are, we have to face but what a, can mafia, be done? a mafia system. But the thing is, what can be done? Like the sanctions, is it enough? Or, you know, the what, sanction what is for me, the, the sanction world? now is not enough. We have to increase the sanction. We have to increase the sanction. We have to force. And, uh, and that's the only way. No, in front of us, we have a person who only believe in force. Well, but that's what I'm saying, that, you know, uh, now I know that there, there will be new uh, sea uh, breeze uh, exercises mm -hmm. with Turkey and... Uh, in the Black Black Sea yeah. uh, uh, NATO. region, mm -hmm. yes, with NATO. Uh, well, things like this, you know. Now and then, we know that the American we, special we are, forces. We, we have to show our forces. We have to show. Our, yeah, yeah. We have to show our forces. We have to increase the sanction. We have to break all the tools of the Russian policy everywhere. We have to do a, pol a policy of contentment, like we did during the Cold War. Uh, we, 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 we need a, a new uh, Ronald Reagan in, 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 in yeah. USA, you know? Yeah. Or we need, uh, uh, I can say in those times, it was General de Gaulle in, in, in France. But really, we need to be very strong and to stop to be naive with, with Putin. Uh, Putin is not, is not a, 
uh, a strategist. He is not playing uh, chess. He's only playing poker. Yeah. And we are yeah. very, yeah. very, very, very naive. Well, he knows how to wait and he knows how to see the uh, blind spots and weak spots. Yeah. And he knows how to use that. And That's for Ukraine, this is very difficult times because, in, you know, this year in Ukraine uh, will be very important. You will have a change of government, you know, you, yeah. you saw that this weekend and uh, a few days ago. And w for Ukraine, this year is really the key year for the new Ukraine. Well, uh, we'll just ask you to support Ukraine as much as you can because, uh, well, uh, you know, where Ukraine is trying, Ukraine is trying, is working, is defending not only the territory of Ukraine, but the... Also a free Europe. The free Europe, yes, yes, yes. That's, so, why, that's why, you know, some Frenchmen, as me, or some foreigner, we are here, because we, we, we know that we are fighting. When you are fighting for Ukraine, you are fighting for the European continent, and you are fighting for freedom. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that's enough for today. I think uh, the main uh, conclusion is uh, be careful on what information you believe, what information you choose to believe, because there is a lot of lies in the world, professional lies. All right. It was United Country, UA Tea Time uh, by First Ukraine. Olivier Vedrin and Sergei Velichansky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us and we'll show to you the real crane. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day and see you soon.